Many people are comparing this to a similar situation that took place in Germany about 80 years ago with another group of individuals who I think you know very well. And now it seems as though history is starting to repeat itself, but if it starts here, where could it go and who else is going to be involved? We'll, we'll get into all the details and try to answer some of those questions for you in just a second. First, guys, if you could please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. Also, let me remind you guys to go sub to me on Rumble. Why? Because that is where you can go to also view these videos and you can leave your comments without any interruption from YT and all the foolery going on over here with them blocking and removing what you guys are saying. It's happening more and more now. Um, plus, that is my backup in case I get booted out of YT, you know, altogether. So you want to definitely go and check me out on Rumble. Go sub to me there. And again, if you want uninterrupted conversation, that would be the place to go. So there you go. Now, the On Iatros Clinic, located in Bavaria, Germany, has made an extremely controversial announcement. This has a lot of people in our, up in arms about this. That going forward, indefinitely, they will no longer be treating Russian or Belarusians who are in need of health care, of treatment. Now, they had put out a statement that said that they were standing in solidarity with everything that's going on in Ukraine. They're standing with the Ukrainian people and they are firmly against what is happening there. And well, they want to send a direct message. They want to let the people of Ukraine know that they are with them. They are with them. They are by their side. And for them, the best way to do this going forward would be to deny medical care, basic medical care for any one who is Russian or Belarusian, who is in this particular area of Germany, anywhere located around the On Iatros Clinic. I have to say this because what does the innocent people have to do with any of this? Here's the thing. It doesn't even matter whose side you're on here, who you're supporting. And I could go into the specifics about what's going on over there, but you guys have all seen it, but I, I'm not even going to dip into that that pond because, I mean, <laughs> first of all, if I even get into some of that here, I'll probably be booted off here for sure. Uh, but we've heard the recent reports of uh, certain facilities that have been found over there. Look, only God truly knows what's really happening over there right now. Here is something that we can all collectively agree on together. The people are the innocent ones. The governments, another story. But to single out Russian people or Belarusian people because of this and say, no, we're not going to treat you. We're just going to deny you and let you just deal with whatever it is you're going through. Sorry. is completely appalling. Now, this is really, I mean going along the same lines here what we've seen in the last two years when it comes to people being denied medical treatment because they don't want to get the jibby jab jab i mean you guys know this i have reported on it for the past two years all these cases of people that you know were denied transplants because they wouldn't get the jibby jab jab basically told that yeah even though you were on the list for this many you know years sorry we're taking you off you don't want to get the jibby jab jab even though you got a you know, you got a match, you got a donor, too bad, you're gone. And then, of course, you had people in the media that were actively calling for hospitals to deny people basic treatment for not getting the jibby-jab-jab. If they had the cuckoo, if they went to the hospital for the cuckoo, they were told, no, don't treat them, send them home, save those beds for the smart people who made the right decision to go out and get the jibby jab jab. So this call to deny people their fundamental right to receive basic medical care is not something new. We've been hearing this. And now it's gone to a new stage to deny a certain group of people. I, I mean, I'm sorry. We're, I don't hear anybody in the media calling this out. 
you can better believe that if it was any other group of people, and you can pick, you know, you could probably look at a list and you can look at different ethnicities and you could say, oh yeah, there's no way they would ever touch this group. They would be appalled. They would be shocked. They would be up in arms. They would be just livid, ripping, livid mad. If it were other groups. But no, silence. Only the people have been speaking out against this. I got more on where I think this could be going in just a second, so stick with me. Uh, first, guys, let me mention, if you were able to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do, I'd greatly appreciate that. I'm demonetized on YT. They don't support me in any way. However, you, if you guys enjoy the daily content I put out here talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and you want to send a message over to YT saying you may not like his content, but we enjoy him and want to help support him, you guys can do that on PayPal. The link is down below, or you can sign up on Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content. I include the links of the YouTube videos there. Why? So you guys get alerted every time new content comes out because YT will not alert you guys most times when the new content comes out. Even if you have that bell click, that's the way they are now. So with Patreon, you're guaranteed to get those alerts. Plus, you can leave comments 100% censorship-free over there behind the paywall without any worries at all. You can say whatever you want. Also, you can send me direct messages. So it's a perk for you guys, and it helps out our ministry here. All the links are down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is so greatly appreciated. But getting back to this, you know, this call to deny people, you know, and I don't, I don't think it's going to stop with Germany here with just this one, you know, particular German hospital. There, there could be others as well. It's just not being reported on right now. Uh, but others will do the same. If you look at what's been happening, there's been an isolation. There has been a, a work, an active work to isolate, you know, uh, Russia, uh, but it's now affected their people. Now, I'd be interested to hear the take from the on Iatros clinic in Germany about the fact that you have thousands upon thousands of Russian people who have been protesting what's been going on over there. They're not happy about it. Okay. But yet somehow they're still responsible. Again, we're, we're, we're tying people. It, you could get into the American education system. You know what's going on there, right? With the whole, you know, CRT deal. You could get into all of that, you know, blaming specific people for things that they have nothing to do with. Punishing them for it, making them feel bad about it. But look at what they're doing here, trying to do it with, you know, with medical treatment. It's no different. So what comes next? Certain religious groups? Oh, like what happened in Germany 80 years ago? How about with Christians? You think that's coming? Do you think that a call to deny Christians basic medical treatment would happen? Sure it would. Why not? They haven't completely put the focus on that yet, although they have called Christians out the media, that being several times before. But I'm talking about really putting it on a grand scale, like a worldwide scale here, calling for that. Guess what? That is going to happen. When is it going to happen? It's going to happen when the Antichrist is ruling and reigning on this earth during the seven-year tribulation period. Christians are going to be hunted. They're going to be targets. You will not be able to practice your faith as a servant of Jesus Christ during this time. No, no, no. You will have to pledge your loyalty to the beast, to the Antichrist, and his kingdom, his one world religion. Otherwise, you will be dealt with. So we see where this is all going. And again, no matter where you stand on what's happening over there, the people are the ones that are affected the most. And this is sick. It is despicable what they're doing to these people. I, I hope, I mean, I they better end this. I don't know what can be done. But I, I'm worried that we're going to see this happening in more countries as well and other hospitals. Don't think for one second that the geniuses in our country, in the U.S. of A., wouldn't try to call for something similar. I hope to God they wouldn't, but I put nothing past these people. Can you imagine? And by the way, I have no idea how they're going to enforce this. At this clinic in Germany, I don't know how they're going to enforce it. But can you imagine, I mean, going back 
and seeing signs on certain businesses. Look, we saw this with the Jibby Jab Jab and the and even I talked about, you know, denying people because of the uh, you know, with the transplants and all that and the media calling for people who had the cuckoo to not be treated. But can you imagine like what we had the Jibby Jab passports, you know, going into which is still in effect in a lot of countries. Just because they've been removed in some places doesn't mean it's been removed at all. Saying you can't get into a business unless you have, you know, your Jibby Jab passport. Well, do you think that we could start seeing signs of businesses saying that, you know, if you're Russian or Belarusian, you, you need not enter? No entry allowed? <laughs> These are things to, to think about and seriously consider because it's going to cause a huge problem. Yeah, WW3, sure. People are going to get fed up. Certain groups of people being unfairly targeted for things going on that have nothing to do with them and you have instigators many instigators you guys know who they are who are actively pushing for this to continue to happen why is it all happening bigger question we're in the last days jesus christ is coming back soon you have nations that are in complete unrest right now upheaval happening nations against nations kingdoms against kingdoms Wars, rumors of wars. Everything that Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 24, it's playing out right before our eyes. And if you have not already made a decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, because he's coming soon, I want to encourage you to make the decision today. How do you do it? First thing, acknowledge that you're a sinner. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. A sinner is something that we all are. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Let me tell you the good news, though. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and he rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, and your role in this, you have to repent of your sin. What does it mean? To turn from sin not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.